Welcome to Encounter. Today we're going to visit a place originally known as The Barn. Family run since 1969. They are well known, and if you don't know them yet, you'll want to know them. Son of the founder of the Barn Antiques. Um, my grandmother Edna Mae Wales founded the antique shop in the fall of 1969 and uh, it was just a, a little one uh, small building antique shop uh, out in the middle of rural Polk County. Uh, there wasn't quite as much going on back then and a lot of her friends thought that she was uh, a little um, uh, crazy frankly to be opening an antique shop in the middle of the woods but it was her dream and uh, she had a passion for it. She started it here um, in Lake Alfred and it was just cow pastures and nothing really out here and it was always her dream to start an antique business so with the help of her husband who built the original building um, she she launched her dream. I4 wasn't even built yet um, so she was really out here by herself would put a sign up to say gone to the bathroom be back in 20 minutes um, in the early days and now it's really grown. And, um, from 1969 on every year uh, got a little bit bigger and now we have uh, four generations involved and I'm pleased to be a part of it. I, it's my grandmother who started it. I went away to college and majored in history and art history at Furman University in South Carolina and then came back. After um, a few years uh, in the antique shop, uh, my mother, when she took time off school teaching to raise my brother and I, would do uh, arts and crafts and sold them in a corner of the antique store. And um, that was successful enough that they eventually expanded into um, their own business next door to the Barn Antiques, which was the stable home decor. My, my family and I, my parents and I, have been going to England every summer since I was two. I would go with them and help them buy uh, help as a two-year-old. Part of our family uh, growth in the business has involved adding uh, my sister-in-law, Adriana. She has um, joined my brother uh, running the restaurant and the garden shop. I started off as a nursing home administrator in town and I met my husband and decided I wanted to spend a little bit more time with my children. So I actually came into the business um, when my second daughter was born and just have stayed here ever since. I love it. It's just so much fun. My father finally retired from school teaching and was able to do the gift shop full time as the business grew and expanded. Um, they then in 1986 opened the restaurant behind us here which now my brother runs for them. So all told uh, there are uh, my mother, father, uh, brother and sister-in-law and I are now running the, uh, the, the business along with the antique shop. I graduated from college, I came back, and now my dad and I switch off and take turns, so I go to England 
every other trip and go and buy a 40-foot container of, of antiques. So we handpick every piece and bring it back. Everyone does a little bit of everything. There aren't really roles per se, but uh, we all work on the restoration. We have a team of great guys who do restoration. Adriana got her certification to be a master gardener and uh, hand picks and selects the plants for the garden shop. And uh, in the past few years, she's taken over management of uh, and improved and uh, expanded our boutique and fashion and clothing uh, section of the business. So not only are we doing seasonal decorations and home decor, but with Adriana's help, we now have a, uh, a larger and better uh, fashion boutique in the gift shop. Two big operations. Um, we have the stable home decor and then the seasons shop, which transitions every season into a different, um, different environment, so to speak. We opened an entire uh, building full of seasonal decorations, so Christmas and fall in the, uh, in the winter season, and then in the spring we have um, Easter, and we go all the way into beach with a lot of seasonal decorations. It allows us to have home decor uh, separate from seasonal decorations. So I have um, really great employees and they do most of display. I do most of the buying and they do a lot of and most of the displaying. And so it's a good team effort for that. Pam and Deidre, my two girls. And um, I also have some weekend employees too. And together we all kind of work together and make sure the boutique looks very beautiful all the time for all of our wonderful customers. restaurant that really allowed for a lot of people to come from Tampa and Orlando and further locations to come to such a rural place and be able to enjoy their shopping um, and not have to leave in the middle of the day to go find food. Um, people really started coming to Polk County to shop here as a destination. The, the lunch um, uh, availability of lunch really helped with that. Our families have been coming here since we were Itty bitty, um, as long as we can remember. Always. And um, we, my mom grew up with Drew and taught their children as well. And so it's definitely a very big family environment. I think that's why people come to Winter Haven and the Lake Alfred area, Polk County in general. Some of my favorite memories are here, like with my grandmother, who's now 90, um, and my aunts and my cousins, and anytime anybody would come in town, this is where we would come, and it was my favorite place, even though you don't think of an antique store or anything like that being a child's favorite place to go, but I know both of us feel It's that kind way. of like a meeting spot for, I mean, everyone. You, you're gonna run into someone you know, regardless if you haven't seen them in 10 years, in 15 years, or if you just saw them yesterday, because everyone comes here. I mean, if you say the barn, people in Orlando know what it is. We really have a variety of different customers. When you have a business that has as many different facets as this does, um, we have all sorts of destination and local shoppers that come for a variety of different reasons. Um, we have passionate, passionate antique uh, shoppers who will drive hours to come and see what my aunt and uncle and cousin have uh, have found and have stocked in the antique shop. Christmas is a huge thing for our, our family. Um, yeah. It's we, we always go all out, and so every year, especially when we always used to be off of school for either Thanksgiving or Christmas, everyone would come here, and we'd always just buy like the last minute gift, like presents, so that we could like stick them in everybody's stockings like the next day, or and like we today, like we still find different like knickknacks and stuff that are decorated around each other's houses from here. Just such a 
such a different environment. Um, obviously not a corporate environment, but a family environment and people just love to come here for destination locations and have fun with their family. So we really love and appreciate that. It's an awesome environment because it's so different from going to a mall or going someplace where you're not really known. We have customers who come in who we only know from the barn, but they are like family and like friends and uh, you know, everyone knows a little bit about everyone else and it's great. It's a great community and it's exciting. People buy pieces of furniture for their home and then bring us photos to show us um, what it looks like in their house and it's great to be a part of that process for, with people. One of the things that the stable has been known for for years, uh, we have always had our own in-house floral designers. We work um, with uh, silk and um, uh, we make wreaths and floral arrangements and a lot of those find their way into local charity events. Um, we participate in silent auctions uh, for a variety of different causes here locally and it's always nice to be able to put a um, locally produced um, uh, floral design from our uh, in-house flower designers. And it's really awesome. It's awesome that we are all such a family and even the everyone who works here is like family. Um, and we, it's, it's just a, it's such a great thing and it is great for the community too. I mean, there are people who came in today who said, we haven't been here in 25 years. When did the restaurant open? And it's, there's always a new addition and they have their grandkids with them now and it's just a really, really awesome thing to be a part of. Growth in business uh, has been very, very exciting for us as a family, but it's definitely not something that we could do uh, alone. It takes a lot of people to make a business like this run, and we have been extremely fortunate uh, with all of our local hires. Uh, we have uh, several managers that have been with us for over 20 years and um, we have extremely talented designers that come and make the business look fantastic. And it's not something that's as hard as my mom and dad worked to build the business. It would not be possible without such talented local people helping us hand in hand, and that's been fantastic. Now you know. What a unique place for family and friends to go to make special memories. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Encounter.